Welcome back. In this lesson, you will learn about economic resources. Resources is the backbone in the study of economics since it is what brings about the economic problem due to its scarcity. So, what is a resource? A resource is anything that has the potential of creating wealth, income, or utility. The definition of resources is relative since what one society actually deems as a resource may not necessarily be a resource to another society. The underlying principle is that for anything to be considered as a resource, it should have the potential of creating wealth and used to satisfy human wants. So this lesson tries to classify resources in threefold, by factors of production, by nature, and by cycle. Classifying resources by factors of production, what really comes to mind will be land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship. Land actually includes all the gifts of nature which are used to produce goods and services. So when we mention land, in every sense of that word, it simply means land, air, water bodies, trees, oil reserves, animals. All these form gifts of nature and they are part of land in this classification. Labor is the human effort which can be both physical and mental which are devoted to the production of goods and services. And the quality of labor actually depends on how skillful and well-educated people are. And so that brings about two distinctions in labor. We have the skilled labor and unskilled labor. The skilled labor could be the services rendered by a driver or a doctor or a teacher. Whilst the unskilled labor could be a farmer who produces only for subsistence living or perhaps a barber in a saloon. Capital includes all human creations. Uh, which are used to produce goods and services. So economists often distinguish between physical capital and human capital, where physical capital comprises uh, factories, machines, tools, buildings, vehicles, name them. But human capital simply encompasses the, the stock of knowledge and the skills that people obtain from education. Now, with entrepreneurship, it is just simply a specialized kind of human resource which simply has the ability to mobilize all the factors of production to produce goods and services. So the entrepreneur simply bears all the risk of profit and losses by mobilizing these factors of production. In terms of the classification of resources by nature, this includes natural resources, manufactured resources, and human resources. So natural resources includes all gifts of nature, and that also shares similar characteristics with land as mentioned in the first classification. Manufactured resources also includes all goods created out of human innovations, and it also shares similar characteristics with capital, which we explained earlier. And then human resources also simply refers to man's potential and ability to produce goods and render services. And that can also be likened to uh, labor as mentioned in the first classification. Now, to classify resources by cycle, resources are grouped into renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are those resources which are inexhaustible and naturally replenish themselves even after their use. And typical examples include water, wind, sunlight, among others. With non-renewable resources, they are exhaustible and they occur in finite quantities. This means that these resources cannot be replaced and they need to be conserved before they become depleted. So we make mention of two distinctions, the metallic ores which include gold and silver and the non-metallic ores, salt, gravel and among others. Virtually, these resources that we've mentioned so far, in terms of their classification, is why we need to study economics in order to efficiently allocate them to satisfy all human wants. Now, in our next lesson, we will consider economic activities and economic agents.